and welcome to the video lecture on changing and removing tables. So obviously uh, you're going to go into a database management system, uh, you're going to create all your tables and then time is going to start going by and as time starts going by things are going to have to change. Uh, whether uh, due to legislation like Sarbanes-Oxley or um, you know s simply the need to store more data uh, some of that uh, comes from, you know, reporting needs uh, that so some other data needs to be stored or kept track of to generate uh, new uh, reports that are needed. So uh, SQL uh, enables that through the alter table statement. Uh, essentially, uh, the, con the way that you do it is alter table uh, is the command. You would put in the table name, uh, you know, customer T. Uh, and then the alter table action, uh, whatever you wanted uh, to change, however you wanted to change the table. Um, so what actions can you take? Uh, you can add columns, uh, you can alter columns, right? Uh, we can uh, discover that, oh, you know, we never set up a default value and we should have for a particular column. So you can alter the column and set a default value. Uh, you can alter a column, um, you can drop the default value. Uh, you can drop a column altogether. Um, you can add table constraints uh, as far as check constraint uh, type of stuff. You can uh, add foreign key constraints, right? All of the different kinds of constraints you can add here uh, or change. Uh, you can alter columns uh, and change their co and change their column definition. Uh, you can't. You don't just need to um, add columns. Uh, the one thing that you can't do, uh, and uh, especially in something like uh, Oracle, is if you have a column, for instance, uh, that say character twenty, and you realize, you know what, um, you know, we don't need twenty characters. You know, the, the the biggest thing that we've ever put in there is fifteen characters. So let's restrict that. Let's let's save ourselves five characters per row. So if you go in and you try to alter the column and you try to make the column definition smaller than it was before, Oracle will stop you from doing that because Oracle doesn't know whether or not you're going to... Oracle and most database management systems will prevent you from damaging your own data. Uh, so, um, although these, these uh, table actions are out there, the database management system itself will protect uh, your data uh, from being destroyed uh, by users that aren't sensitive uh, to what they might be doing. Uh, so a good example, uh, we're adding a new column with a default value, so we're going to alter table customer T. That's the beginning of the command. We're going to add a column called customer type, uh, which is, uses the data type varchar2. Uh, it's two characters max, and the default is the word commercial. Uh, and that actually probably should be varchar20, because varchar2 isn't going to work. Um, to store that amount of data. So um, that's how you would actually change a table. Removing a table is much, much easier. Uh, removing tables is simply the drop table command. Uh, so you just, you just drop the table from, again, your schema. So if you're a user that has the ability to create tables and you create tables, that table is created in your schema. You can do whatever you want with it, uh, including dropping it. Uh, as long as uh, some of, you know, as long as we don't have referential integrity or other things like that set up. And the command is very, very simple. Drop, table, and the table name, and the table goes bye-bye. Uh, so that should be used very, very sparingly and very, very carefully. Um, but again, if, if you're the person that created the table, it's your table, you can do whatever you want to it, um, including removing it. So that is the end of the video lecture on uh, changing and removing tape.